Welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we walked you through the process of creating a slow DNS account. If you haven't watched that yet, I highly recommend checking it out before proceeding with this tutorial. Today, we're taking the next step, setting up slow DNS on TLS Tunnel VPN for a secure and private browsing experience. Let's get started. First, open the Play Store on your device and search for TLS Tunnel VPN. Download and install the app. Additionally, you'll need to download the TLS Tunnel DNSTT plugin. Make sure to install that as well. Once the installation is complete, launch the TLS Tunnel VPN application. You should now see the TLS Tunnel VPN app interface. Click on the server option labeled Automatic to proceed. Next, click on the gear icon next to Private Server to access its settings. In the Private Server settings, enter the required details, including the server address, port, username, and password. Retrieve these details from the notepad where you saved them earlier. Once done, save the private server settings and select it as your server. Now, click on the pencil icon next to Connection Method. In the Connection Method settings, look for the small triangular icon at the bottom left corner and tap on it to open the list of connection methods. From the list, select DNS Tunnel. This is the key method for slow DNS connections. Next, we need to configure the DNS tunnel settings. Start by selecting the connection type. You can choose between UDP and DOT. If you're using UDP, set the port to 53 and use the DNS server 8.8.8.8. .8 if you're using DOT, change the port to 853. Once everything is set up, save the connection method settings. Now to start the VPN, simply click the start button. And that's it! You've successfully set up slow DNS using TLS Tunnel VPN. You can now enjoy a secure and private browsing experience. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials like this one. If you have any questions, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials like this one. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.